And another reminder now of just how much snow we accumulated in the tri-state area. The weight of it has taken a toll on a house in Paramus, New Jersey. CBS 2's Christina Fan live at the scene tonight for us. Christina. Well, Maurice and Christine, the storm dumped about 20 inches of snow on Paramus, and all that weight caused this home to collapse onto its foundation. Fortunately, we learned that no one was living inside. This home was under construction, and that is possibly one of the reasons the structure was already unstable. Demolition crews tore apart what little remained of this home after a three-day nor'easter battered it with nearly two feet of snow. Neighbors say they were prepared for downed trees and power lines, but never this. Yeah, definitely we scared. We get everybody get scared, all of them. My friend neighbor, he called me too. He was we were talking, and we said, why it has happened. This photo from Google Maps shows what the home along Arbor Road used to look like. This is all that remained after the roof collapsed Tuesday night. The property owner says he was in the process of demolishing the old structure to build a new one when the storm came through and did the work for him. The Paramus Fire Chief says building inspectors are determining what went wrong. This is a rare occurrence. This doesn't normally happen. Um, Regular homeowners, you know, as long as you take care of your house, everything's good. You, you have no uh, real issues to worry about. Even so, we caught several people gawking at the pancaked house, nervously returning home to check on their own roofs. My roof, of course, compared to that roof, my roof is about 2015. I rebuilt it, so maybe more, more is stronger than. <laughs> And the neighbor you just heard from is so concerned because he lives inside this home, and it's actually the same model as the home that collapsed Tuesday. We reached out to experts. They say generally it takes two feet of snow on your roof to significantly weaken the structure. Reporting live from Paramus, New Jersey, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Christina, thank you.